hi welcome back to my channel so um this week i wanted to do a video about litter training your ferrets so your ferrets are not gonna come like automatically litter trained um maybe i guess it would depend on how old they are or where they came from or i don't know i guess it depends on a couple factors i mean i got um, my ferrets from the pet store and they did use the litter box but they also used the entire whatever it is they keep them in so um what i did to litter box train them is um i have the cage behind me and that cage is really awesome because it allows you to separate it into two cages basically a top and a bottom and so when i first got my ferrets i had lucy oh you yawn in you just so sleepy and i had come here there, boy and I had Weasel, you little chunky face. Is you my chunky face? Yeah. Um, and so to litter train them, what I did was, so at first I didn't know anything. Um, and I just let them have like free range of the entire cage. Um, but the problem with that is that they were very young and they just would go to the bathroom whenever they had to go. So what I ended up doing ultimately is I cut the cage down to just the bottom level and I put a litter box in the bottom and I just didn't give them access to the top of the cage. And what I would also do is when I, before I would take them out, I would make sure like if they were asleep and I woke them up, I would not let them out of the cage until they went to the bathroom. Um, and then I also just restricted the area that they had because, and then, and they won't typically go to the bathroom on their bedding or on things that are soft. They're not like guinea pigs in that respect where they just aren't going to poop where they sleep essentially. Um, so by having them restricted and then also making sure that they went to the bathroom before I let them out of the cage, that was key on teaching them to not use the bathroom anywhere in their cage and to only use the bathroom in their litter box. Um, and then as far as once they were out and playing, um, ferrets are pretty distinct. When they have to go to the bathroom, they typically back up and they go to the bathroom. So whenever I would see them back up, I would pick them up and put them in the litter box. And sometimes they would try to get out many times, um, but I would just continue to do that. And then they would go to the bathroom and I would like give them a treat or some kind of praise. And then over time, they basically just litter box trained. Um, I mean, they still have accidents. They are not even to this day, 100% litter trained. I let them run around. They have full range of this room. Their cage stays just like you see it now. Well, actually one of the doors is shut but um like I keep one door shut and one just stays open and they will have accidents in this room throughout the day I mean not a ton um there's litter boxes there's three litter boxes in here at the moment um the little tiny blue one behind me that's actually not something that I would recommend that you use as your sole litter box um and I'll do a close-up shot of that in a second but um that is a really small little litter box. When they were babies, they fit in there perfectly. But now that they're bigger, um, it's just not ideal. I mean, they can go to the bathroom in there and they still use that litter box, but they can't really turn around and get a lot of room. So I will show you the litter boxes that I use. Currently, the ones that I, I mean, that one normally sometimes um, when I had them, I would keep it in the upper portion of their cage so that there was a litter box on both levels. But as they got better about going to the bathroom and not going to the bathroom all over their cage, ultimately I took it out. Um, I keep that litter box around now because it just is an extra box and they will use it and it stops. It just gives them an extra space to go to the bathroom. But I do recommend um, high back litter boxes. They make them specifically for ferrets. And, um, and that if you're gonna let them have you know free reign or run around, that you put them in, in a spot where they know where they are and that you have them available to them and that you don't make them like a million miles from their cage. They're not gonna be perfect at litter box training. I'm sure that some ferrets always use the litter box. Mine, I would love to tell you that that's the case, but I would say that 98.5% of the time they use the litter box. Um, and then the times they, they don't, I have four ferrets. So it's, we're not perfect. Um, and that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. I know what to expect. So if I don't want them to go to the bathroom on my carpet downstairs, then I make sure they all go to the bathroom before we go and play. Um, and they will have to go to the bathroom basically as soon as they wake up is like one of those things as well. So let me, um, grab the litter boxes and I'll show you what we have and how I have them set up. So for ferret litter, I choose to use the paper pellets. Um, I use, can I have it? You let go, you don't bite the bag. Sorry, we're biting the bag. 
Um, it basically looks like this is what it looks like. This is actually a brand that is for cats, but it doesn't really matter if it's for cats. I found that pet stores will charge like an extra five or six dollars for you to buy the ones that are made for small pets, which is absurd to me. Um, there's several different brands that you can use. You can also, people use Pine, um, and then they also use like the kind that's broken up more, but I like this. It works really well. And basically I just make sure that it's scent free, um, that it has no kind of smelly stuff in it because it's not really good for them at all. And um, I don't overfill the box because they're not gonna, they're not like cats. They're not gonna bury and dig and cover their poop. They're like gonna poop in their box and they're gonna walk away. <laughs> um, that's pretty much the extent. So there's no need to put like two inches of litter in the box. So um, again, this is the kind that I use. I actually use different brands, um, but this is just what it looks like. And I will show you in the cage in a second and in the box. So that's that, that's litter. So basically this is the litter box that I put inside the cage. Um, it's just a high back. You can actually, if you had the other piece, it's like a round piece and you can attach it to your cage, but I don't do that. So, this just goes right in here, like this. <laughs> when they were learning to use the litter box, if you take this off, and then you could just lift this up, and you just push it in like this, and then basically it goes like that. So then what I would do is they would only have this portion of the cage. And that's how we did it for the first couple of weeks um, until they learned to not go to the bathroom all over the cage, except there was a lot more stuff in the bottom portion. Now that they have access to the whole cage, we um, I don't keep a whole lot on the bottom. It's mainly just the, the basics because they spend most of their time at the top. And then we also have one that sits over here um, so that they can use the bathroom here. We have one where I will just like sit it like right here. They tend to really like to go to the bathroom by my vent for some reason. And that's why I have the gate because they want to poop in the vent. I don't know why. So there are two more things I want to touch on really quickly. Um, the first is be consistent when you're litter box training your ferrets. Uh, try to make sure that you're doing the same thing over and over that, you know, your method is the same. Um, that way it's, it's, they kind of know what to expect. Ferrets are not dumb. They're really smart. Um, you know, my ferrets, if I pull out their carrier and I put it by the door, the one behind me actually that they sleep in for fun. But if I pick that up and I put it by the door, they all get inside of it because they know they're going to go somewhere. Um, so it's same thing with litter box training. If they start to go to the bathroom somewhere random and I pick them up and put them in their litter box, eventually they know that I want them to go to the bathroom in their litter box. Um, so consistency is really important. And the other thing I want to touch on too is, you know, please try not to get angry at them. Um, yelling at them, rubbing their nose in poop or any of that stuff is not going to work. And I don't recommend it. And I don't think it's a method that should be used at all. Um, it doesn't work for cats and dogs, despite what people think. Um, it's really just scarring, I think. Um, you know, they can tell in the tone of your voice that, you know, they, they're, they're animals, they sense things. So, you know, getting mad and all of those methods that people use, test, smacking them on the nose and all of that, like I highly, highly, highly recommend that you don't use those methods. Um, positive, like being positive and then just consistency, um, that really, for me, that worked and it worked great and I haven't had really any issues. Like I said, my ferrets aren't perfect at using the litter box and I don't know very many people whose ferrets are perfect at using the litter box, but I can tell you this, they are almost a hundred times better than they were as babies. And um, it didn't take very long. They caught on really quickly. And um, so that's basically kind of the method that I used and how I did it. There wasn't really anything special to it. So it was just consistency and knowing what they were capable of at, especially when they were babies. Having too much space and too much room um, really gave them an opportunity to go to the bathroom all over their cage, minimizing that was great and it helped. I didn't have to do it for very long. They absolutely have full range of their cage now. And um, yeah, so that's really 
about it. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. To click the like button. And please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon.